What do I do if my motor won't fire up and my speed controller just keeps beeping? Just like this. So, one thing you could do is to check if the rotor sense is working. Oops. Just like that. But well, that's working. Oops, wrong direction. And just like that, and this one. No, it's not working. Hmm. I think that speed controller is broken, so I need to replace that. How do I do that? Pretty easy. Uh, remove all 12. Oh, it's actually 14. All these one from the top and the four smaller ones that holds the side plates on the bottom. And then you can actually just remove uh, your top cover. And the speed controller that's not working is that one. So I actually have to remove, or I think it's a good idea to remove the, the, the arm itself. So unscrew these three at the bottom. Where the arm is, or with the speed controller that's not working. La la la. Oops. Okay. That's it. So, what I have to do, I have to take it apart. I can, can do that with my fingers, maybe. Yes. Take it apart because I have to unsolder the motor from the speed controller but keeping the wires as they are and uh, just opening the, the, sh the heat trick. Heat trick. There you go. Okay, now it's open. Now I have to unsolder these these three ones, and I have to unsolder these two points on the PDB. So let's just do it. Look, look. Look. Move it. Uh, it's pretty hard to see, I think, but there's not much room in here. Okay. Here it is, the broken speed controller. What I do now, I take a replacement one. I keep the wire, yeah, do I need to shorten the wires? Maybe, yeah, I have to. Okay, the wires are not in the right length. I don't know why. Hmm. Ah, here's one. I take my replacement speed controller and I just solder it back on. Before I do that, I have to pre-solder these uh, these three pads. So we got some solder on there to the motor wires. 
So that's pretty easy. Whoops. It's moving. It's alive. What? That's one. There's two, and that's three. Good enough. What I first do, I first saw it on the, the PDB, so um, so it's on there definitely. So uh, plus is the inner one. First I heat up the, the solder on, on the PDB and then I can add the, the wire to it. That's one. There's not much room down here so be careful don't hit anything because the soldering iron are pretty hot and uh, it could melt some of the plastic components down here. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's good enough. So, what we have to do now, we have to put it through the arm. And we have to put on the heat shrink. Oops. We could also just uh, attach the connector. The speed controller connector, come on. There you go. Okay, heat shrink. Right down here. So we got it all covered, all clear. And then I take my helping hand and grab it. I can now sort of on my three wires for for the motor. Pretty easy. Just make sure that uh, the wires don't touch because then you will have a short and that is not good. Just as I just did right here. Okay, take this one off, move it a little bit. Not the prettiest, but it will do. It will be good enough. Get pretty hard for the fingers, so. It's not the prettiest, but it will do. Okay. should be it and now if you plug in the battery it should stop beeping and it the rotor sense should work so I can now tell it with direction it should turn so let's have a go it stopped beeping Woo! that's it 
and then just put the whole thing back together again and and just do some flying easy yeah pretty easy ah, come on there we go Easy. That's it. Thank you for watching.